There's just other characters I can do what he does, you know, at the same level or if not better. So yeah. at this point, if you see Sora, it's probably just for the love of the character. So for the love of Christ, though, we are finally here into our next game. Joker, Pikmin, and Olimar, let's get it. All right, this is going to be a fun. Claw 2 coming out. I feel like Claw 2... Yeah, I, you know what? I know Claw 2. I think Claw 2 might have had an old name, but I think this is a, a veteran California Olimar mm -hmm. from back in the day. So we'll see. Uh, definitely no stranger uh, to success. I'm sure Claw 2 is going to bring a lot to the table. We'll see what uh, they can do against Lemon, who's obviously piloted in this Joker. Joker just a menace in general. I don't know I tell you tell you any different already with that arson on board trying to rip through these pikmin but really good spacing thus far from claw 2. claw right. actually like i remember claw is actually really good so i'm not sure the uh, i'm wondering where claw 2 was seated because this is good as i know claw 2 is might have been a little under seated as uh lemon's finding out the hard way that's right this um, pikmin definitely doing their due diligence it's definitely getting a little sour for my boy lemon right now he's gonna have to really tap into something here and uh <laughs> i'm sorry man <laughs> in something quick here it was too easy um claw 2 of course just living up really to the resume right now i mean you know a lot of people have felt the type of way about this character but needless to say uh pikmin plus double purple or all of our season with double uh, purple pikmin this becomes a very scary uh, time for the opposing side, Arsene or not. So, of course, Ooh. all of them are very easy to harass oh, off stage. Oh, oh. Same can be said for Arsene and Joker. Yeah, Joker, you're running into uh, a little problem called Purple Pikmin, okay? They do not discriminate who they are swinging at. A really, really strong start thus far for Cloud2. Uh, Lemon, really no answers thus far. Trying to land safely. Able to do just that, playing around. You know, this Alomar... Really, really good thus far. Cloud 2, you know, there's a lot of good Alamars out there, man. You look at your uh, your shoe tongues, you look at your uh -huh. Myrins, your debuzzes, but let me tell you something, man. You might have forgot about Cloud 2, but he didn't forget how to play this game. That's for damn sure, but that'll take off the stock, but still a full lead right now, full advantage for Cloud 2 as Lemon, struggling to find some answers thus far in this first game. That's right. You know, one thing I'd like to see a lot from uh, the Jokers, really of all levels, is to really lean into the gun, you know, mechanics. Especially when you have Arsene online. I know you really want to get in there and get your hands dirty. But in a, you know, an area like this, you know, where the, the, the sense and, of course, the stock count is certainly not speaking into your favor, the gunplay will certainly get it done for you in more ways than one. Take it from me, all right? So with this in mind, Cloud 2, oh my goodness, narrowly escaping a danger. They're using the down special. However, Coming back here virtually unscathed, nice. trying to run out this meter. Yep, very, very smart. Just, you know, any little couple of seconds you can burn off is the way to do it. Going under that stage, going to help out a little bit. Those last few embers burning off, and just like that, Joker, less naked without that R sitting there to carry a bit. And I'm telling you, that's a bad sign for Lemon, who just had no answers for Cloud2. Devastation presenting itself in a major way. That's right. Cloud2 getting as dangerous as ever here. Very great gameplay. Solid as always. Now look, I don't want to take anything away from Lemon, all right? Lemon, you got to be nice if you made it this far. However, I'm just not seeing the full range of Joker's toolkit. I'm only seeing, you know, bits and pieces, you know, spurts of greatness. I need you to really tap in, my boy. I mean, you know, the thing for me, you know, it makes Joker so good and why I think some people still rank this character as the best in the game. It's really what you do when, when like, Joker is a good character alone, but it's really what you do uh, with Arson, what you do at that time that you get to enjoy uh, that just insane boost that you get to your character in the form of Arsene. And, you know, what Cloud2 did was so well, he just neutralized that. And a lot of times these Jokers uh, that necessarily aren't up to the standard of like an MK Leo or like a Sharp in some instances, they're just not utilizing and getting anything off of their Arsene to the extent uh, that you would think so. So I feel like that's kind of what happened there. So looking to see uh, if Lemon can bounce back. He's got the stage selection right here in Battlefield. But you can't let that Arsene, that, that time is so precious. You got to, you know, utilize it. Time That's why MK Leo was so different. Like, any time Arsene came out, usually a stock would tend to fall at that juncture. No, no doubt about that, man. I mean, time is always of the essence, man, in a lot more ways when you play a character like Joker at any level. However, man, uh, you know, time or not, you know, if one thing about Olimar, they definitely know how to kick up the aggression when they get up close and first. I think we've seen that most notably in the last one with the purple Pikmin play. Go. But damn it, when they need to disengage and just throw some shit at you, guess what? Yep. They're going to do just that, all right? Really going to try to burn out this meter here. Of course, time duration is going to help. Hitting Joker is definitely going to aid you in that. Oh, Ooh. get that counter out of here. Yeah, that was really smart uh, to disengage in that, that moment from Cloud2. Now you're going to see trying to push the issue a little bit. Nice. Both players getting super aggressive. Arsene not going to be there for you at the moment. So didn't get too much out of it that time. Cloud2 weathering the storm. Nice back here trying to clear out this stock. Might just get it. 
Elected not to be too wild here. You see the guns. Uh oh. Mm. I don't know how much gas Olimar had left in that uh, that little tank of his, whatever the hell he's using to come back. But uh, man, barely made it back here. But this match staying a little closer than what we were probably used to after looking at game number one. Lemon, of course, really bringing something different here. Love the ledge trapping. Tries to get back on the stage. I believe that was either a roll or a neutral good. If it happens so damn quick, back here claiming the stock nonetheless. Yeah, finally going to do that. So that's a big lead right now for Lemon. Let's see what he can do with it. Ooh, that's scary position to be there that close. That purple Pikmin just swinging at you. I'll tell you what, Lemon, though, playing pretty fearless. Okay. Got to be fearless indeed. The up throw right into the up air. Really chilling away here, working on some arson meter right now. Uncle Arson is almost here in town. There he is. You know what he's here to do? He's here to clean up some stocks, or at the very least, put on a lot of percent. All of them are pretty light in the frame, so won't be able to go for too many of the trades. Okay. All, right. All right, this is big time right now. Oh Ooh. my goodness, well, that's a big time hit. Well delivered, well played, good stuff for two, Cloud two. The Lemon still with a considerable lead, and this might be where Lemon is really thinking, okay, this is why this stage is gonna be so good to me. I got these trial class to easily maneuver around. Make Olimar have to, you know, kind of play the chase game a little bit too. Get some good countermeasures as we're seeing really being implemented right now. This is really good play for Lemon thus far. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, it only takes one open and one hit. That's right, really to bring yourself back from this, man. And I'm glad you talked about that. I mean, the residual damage here from Arston and Joker. I mean, we have seen how dangerous oh. that can be. You're not the, coming oh, back. You're not no, coming you're back. Done. You don't even think about oh. touching the less The residual damage while you were out here playing on these platforms. I was at home studying the art of putting on percent. Love that down there, of course. Cloud 2. Wow, just regaining the lead yeah. here. Good stuff. That was really impressive. I mean, Cloud 2 just turned a tricky situation into a very beneficial one. Just able to just swing that down there, obliterate that stock. And now another arson opportunity. Maybe make this a little easier for Lemon. He really needs to get this stock off quick, fast, in a hurry as this percent continues to mount. Cloud 2, all the momentum in the world to potentially take this in 2-0 fashion despite the strong start that we saw Lemon have. That's right. We started out a little cold here, but let's see how well we can finish. Of course, Lemon letting them know if I'm going down, damn it, I'm going down swinging. I love that back air placement. Of course, Arson's going to leave the building, and I'm sure Klaus is going to do his damnedest to make sure he gets rid of Lemon before another one comes through. You don't need that, I'm telling you. Not at all. Hey, what a great back and forth contest these two are giving us in game number two. We're going to see who's going to come out on top. Lemon doing his damnedest, applying the pressure, but the swing and coming back from Cloud 2 starting to amount, and that's the purple finisher. It is. Lemon just sitting there stunned momentarily. Can't believe he let that one get away. Seemed like he had things well in hand to definitely get himself to another game, but being denied right there by Cloud 2 again. I, I swear Cloud 2 wasn't even seated in his bracket like that. That is a. A name I have not heard in quite some time, but Cloud2 was a very, very talented Almar from back in the day, and obviously Ryan has not lost a step. Absolutely not, man. Sometimes you don't got to teach the old dogs any new tricks because the old ones definitely get the job done. And so with that in mind, man, big shout out to Cloud2, of course, just opening it up and closing it out in a very big fashion. No disrespect to Lemon, of course. Lemon coming all the way over here from the Great White North from Canada. I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure which part of Canada they came from, but damn it, you're here. And, uh, you know, just look at everything going on in the world. You're putting a lot on the line coming over here to compete on U.S. Sales. So big shout out to them. Be sure to show him some love in the chat. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And Cloud2, my bad. If you're still super active, my bad, but I have not seen you in a while, brother. But it's great. I'll tell you what, I hope you keep showing up. Uh, and I want you guys to show up to some of this great quality that we have from one of our partners here at Beyond the Summit. Let's talk a little bit about it. I'm talking about that Asus. ROG Gaming Router. Mm -hmm. hey you guys are probably thinking, what are you doing? For? I'm reading because that's what I like to do. Now, the Asus ROG Gaming time. Router Strix GS-AX 5400. Mm -hmm. 5400. 100. You know some of those features right there? It offers mobile gaming Boom. mode to fully optimize any type of gaming on mobile, mm -hmm. console, right. or PC. Mm -hmm. Think about that. It's also got the features like the VPN fusion and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, guys, if you're wondering, well, how do I get my hands on that? How do I get informed? It's very simple as I read here. Click on the banner below to check out the latest Wi-Fi gaming and mesh routers from Asus, baby. They hold you down. Look at that. It's beautiful. BTS.gg slash Asus ROG router. That's oh, right. my Lord. Tap how, in. How do I get in a commercial like this? Right. We It's long overdue for us, goddamn it. I'm saying, man. Come on now. We look good. Shit. Somebody put us in the damn commercial. Who is this guy? Does he even play games? Who is I'm this saying, man? man? I ain't never seen him hold a controller. Come on now. That's probably somebody's son. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's that industry stuff, that industry go, baby, baby stuff, that's right. But now, nah, make sure you guys get locked in with that Asus ROG gaming router, man. 
shout outs to them again one of our titled partners for the event really really appreciate everything they do That's uh, right. to help this event come into its own mm -hmm. it ain't easy doing these types of tournaments you know i mean nah, of course you know we're the first people that you see uh you know but honestly we don't have a job if it's not for production production doesn't have a job unless somebody books this arena so in order to even get the financial means to do stuff like this especially in the offline era because i'm gonna be real just looking at it from the back end thing i'm gonna let you know chat uh, you know, selling offline tournaments to the, the the sponsors, you know, coming in after everything that's happened in the world, it wasn't easy, okay? It can and be it, a little rough, man, but yes. when you have that belief and that it's, good foundation that BTS has, it makes things a little bit easier. We love to have it, man. Most certainly do. Have. So, friends, we are certainly waiting for our next match. In the meantime, as always, you know, it's Rod, it's E. We're definitely having a lot of fun up here, of course. We got the Mate Mate on deck. I got the hand sanitizer on I'm deck. Sipping, okay? baby. That's right, we are sipping. Why you got two, man? Let me hold one. Go ahead, baby. Which one you want, man? I got Juicy and I got uh, Refresh. All right, well, I can't afford Juicy Couture, so I'll take the Juicy, man. Okay. Oh. All right. We done, man. That's it. We just got word that that was it. That was the last set before Top 64. So we're going to go ahead and cut to a break. When we come back, we'll have some new casters for you and some new matches. The energy level's through the roof right now because I can't wait to get into the thick of it. See you in just a bit, guys.